T-shirts displaying messages of sexual assault survivors and of friends and family remembering them. I think a lot of their messages are really powerful and they're incredibly beautiful. It's definitely part of the healing process to be able to um, speak up even in like visual form. It's very visual and um, it's not too personal like there's somebody standing in front of you talking, but it's a way of getting the message across without sometimes having to do that. The group Zero Tolerance at UConn Stanford stands for anti-violence against women and promotes equality and acceptance of all individuals. For Sexual Assault Awareness Month, students, professors, and others created these t-shirts to display on a clothesline. I've met close friends that have just told me about situations that they've been through and have opened up to me, um, so it's become a lot more personal. Staff and volunteers from the Center for Sexual Assault, Crisis Counseling and Education also hung up shirts for the cause. It's important to get awareness out there not only so that we can stop sexual violence from even happening, but also so that people who have had this happen to them know where to go. Counselors from the center spoke to students at the campus about their organization distributing bracelets, pens, and information. College students are sort of between, you know, that high school being, you know, really young and now they're kind of on their own and they really need to know where to go to get help. I think it's great that we can have it in such a common area so people just walking by who may not even know about it, they can, you know, educate themselves.